Hello, my friends. I'm so excited you could join me today. We're going to have our circle time just like we would normally do at Creative Arts, except I'm going to read you a story and then we're going to look at some pictures of my garden. I'd love to share that with you. Okay, let's read the book together. This book is called Old Rock is Not Boring. Old Rock has been sitting in the same spot at the edge of a clearing in the middle of a pine forest for as long as anyone can remember, and even before that. Being a rock seems awfully boring, said Tall Pine. You sit in the same spot day after day, said the spotted beetle. It's a very nice spot, said Old Rock. Don't you want to go anywhere, asked Hummingbird. I've flown all over the world and sipped the nectar of exotic flowers. I would surely be bored if I could not fly. I flew once, said Old Rock. Gosh, said Tall Pine. How, asked Spotted Beetle. Rocks don't fly, said Hummingbird. Old Rock told them about the time in the beginning when darkness was all around. And then I erupted out of a volcano and soared through the fury sky into the bright light of a new world. So it was just the one time, said Hummingbird. And now you're sitting here, said Talpine, being bored, said Spotted Beetle. I'm not bored, said Old Rock. Don't you want to see more, asked the Spotted Beetle. If I climbed the tip-top branch of tall pine, I might see a deer mouse nibbling seeds in a nearby tree, or watch ships sail across the big lake. Old Rock said, I've seen a lot. Old Rock told them about the time a group of friendly dinosaurs lumbered by, munching every leaf in sight. Then, many years later, a not-so-friendly dinosaur came looking for a meal. No, I haven't seen her. Thanks, says the little dinosaur. Brr, time passed, things changed, and the world chilled. Which wasn't too bad, because Old Rock took a ride in a glacier and toured the land. Once the glacier melted and left me perched at the top of a ridge, and I could see the place where the sky touched the earth. My, you have seen a lot, said Spotted Beetle. How unusual, said Hummingbird. Yes, but that was ages ago, said Tall Pine. Aren't you bored now? Don't you want to move? My, lim my limbs flutter gently in the breeze and dance wildly when the wind blows. I've never danced, but I'm pretty good at, tum at doing somersaults, said Old Rock. Old Rock revealed that after teetering on the ridge for a while, the ground rumbled and I tumbled and stumbled down, down, down into a valley. Shouldn't you be roaming? Grasses grew, mastodons roamed, and lakes formed. I never knew a rock had moved like that, said Talbine. I wish I could have seen those things, said Spotted Beetle. What happens n happened next, asked the hummingbird. A pine forest sprouted up around me. One day, a strong bee breeze shook a pine cone loose. From the pine cone, a seed fell onto the forest floor. I watched that seed grow to be a tall pine who danced in the wind and keeps me company. Sometimes a spotted beetle wanders along to report all that he's seen, he sees. And every so often, the loveliest hummingbird stops to rest after a long flight. And she describes the amazing places she's visited. It's a very nice spot, said Old Rock. Yes, it is, agreed Tall Pine. Very nice, said Spotted Beetle. Not boring at all, said Hummingbird. 
Okay, here's a little history of the rock. 18 billion years ago, old rock formed deep under the Earth's crust. Thir 300 million years ago, a volcano erupted and old rock is blasted into the sky. 150 million years ago, old rock chats with a friendly dinosaur. 66 million years ago, old rock meets hungry T-Rex. 2.6 million years ago, old rock begins a journey in a glacier. 16,000 years ago, the glacier retreated and leaves old rock perched on a ledge. 11,000 years ago, a mastodon stops, for, stops to rest. Present day, old rock, tall pine, spotted beetle, and hummingbird sit in a very nice spot at the edge of a clearing in the middle of a forest. Old Rock has done a lot of living. The end. Okay, now I'd like to show you some pictures from my garden and describe what we're looking at. Okay, in this picture here, I'm looking at two of my favorite gardening books. The one on the left is called We Are the Gardeners by Joanna Gaines. And on the right, it says Gardening for Children by John Bradshaw. Where you see just the dirt and all those black little packs, I'm growing peppers and cucumbers and tomatoes and basil and dill and I think some marigolds too. On the right, we have some basil. Let's look at the next picture. There's a picture, a close up picture of my basil. You can see some little green dots. They're even better in the next one. Those little green dots are my leaves. Those are going to be my basil plants. Next picture this is some grass and clovers for the chickens to eat. They love their greens. This is a petunia. That's wrong. This is a pansy. I'm sorry, my friends. I'm mixing up all my flower names. This is a pansy. They love the cold weather. So they're outside right now getting snowed on. And this last picture is a picture of Miss Christine's chickens. We have Maisie and Molly, Esther, Socks, and way back in the background, we have Miss Peepers. Okay, let's go back. Welcome back. I'm so glad that I got to share all these things with you. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Bye.